Hey everyone, it's Cheyenne. So, sorry this is coming in so late. I've had a couple problems. Um, well, one, I stayed up till 6 in the morning and then I woke up at 9, which surprisingly I'm not tired even though that all that happened. And then a couple hours later, my mom and I went to Walmart and a couple hours later we got home. And now I've been sitting here trying to get my iPod to work, but it's been glitching for some reason. So that's always great. Um... So, what I wanted to touch on the other day that I wasn't feeling well, quite well enough to touch on was depression. And this is something that I've talked about before in a couple of my other videos. Um, you know, just kind of pointing out certain things like um, depression is actually kind of almost mental disease. And it's being recognized as that more and more these days, but it's not always recognized like that to everyone. And, you know, just stuff like that. And, you know, I'm always trying to stress that you guys aren't alone. If you guys are feeling down or depressed or something, uh, definitely talk to someone about it. I mean, I know there are times when you feel like you can't trust people in your life. I know I used to feel like that, um, especially my freshman year of high school. Uh, I quite often felt like I couldn't trust the people around me. But as I got older, I made definitely... Um, like, more definite friends, and I made people who I trusted a lot more in my life who I'm still very close friends with now. Uh, like, my best friends Gavin and Heather, and one of my other close friends, Leah and Josh, and all these people, they're very close to me because they're very... they're very genuine. You know, they're very honest, and I know I can trust them. But... <clears throat> excuse me. I'm not completely better, but I am a lot better than I was. <clears throat> Goodness. I almost... That would not have been fun. Anyways, so depression isn't something that's always easy to notice. Uh, I think what people normally expect with depression is someone who has like scabs and scars on their wrists and, or you know, scars somewhere and they wear a lot of black and they aren't smiling and stuff like that. I think what people picture when they picture depression is someone who's like emo. There's nothing wrong with being emo. Oh my gosh. No. That's not what I'm trying to say. That I feel like I just... Okay. I'm sorry. Insulting everyone. But I mean, people tend to, you know, kind of put... Put people who are depressed or people who are going through a rough time into a stereotype of this, like, dark-sided person who's deep-rooted problems and all this stuff. But that's not necessarily the, the case. I mean, depression is... You know, it doesn't necessarily have to be caused by something. Now, nine times out of ten, yes, depression is caused by some kind of traumatic experience or, um, you know, something else, but it's not always. There's not always a cause for it. And um, there have been quite a few cases where people are just sad and they don't really know why. It's just, it's like you have this weight on your chest and you're suffocating and you're drowning and you don't necessarily understand it. Or, or sometimes it's just like you feel so numb and you would rather be in pain. Of course, when you're in pain, you don't want to be in pain. You'd rather be happy. But it's like you'd rather be in pain than just feel that numbness and that emptiness because, you know, you want to feel alive. And um, I think one of the things that I've noticed and something that kind of bothered me uh, more recently because it was the first time someone had ever said this to me, um, because I, I, I've experienced my own little depressive moments, mainly I went through a, a, a very, very mild depression in my, like, middle school, early high school years, um, okay, high school years, I'm not gonna lie, I did go through the, through it then, um, but, you know, I still go through it sometimes. I'll, I'll just have these moments where I start feeling like suddenly just really down and I don't understand it. Or maybe I do. Maybe it's caused by something. But I'll start feeling really down. Of course, there's not really much to worry about with me now as much as it was back then. Because I have people with me now who I know I can turn to. Like my, my, um, my family, definitely my sisters and my brother and, um, my closest friends, my, my friend Gavin, my friend Heather, my friend Josh, you know, all these people that I can turn to now. Um, and I think that's something that I want to stress with this, is that, you know, just know that you're not alone. Um, so back on track, something that bothers me, um, I was going through my own kind of moment where I just kind of felt really down, and I was talking to someone about it, I can't remember who, and they just, they were just like, well, why don't you just be happy? And I really wish it were that easy, as if you could flip a switch and, oh yeah, okay, sure, that's, 
how easy it is. I just I'll flip on this my happy switch and yeah, because I'm totally sad on purpose. But it doesn't work like that. As much as a lot of us wished it did, it doesn't work like that. It's not as easy as flipping a switch. It's not as easy as just saying, okay, yeah, I'm happy. Now, yes, it does help to sit there and tell yourself, all right, I'm going to be happy today, even if you don't necessarily feel like you will be. If you start getting into that mood of getting up and looking at the things in the day with kind of an optimism, it does help a lot. And I, I've kind of found that. Uh, if you say that you can't get better, then you're not going to get better just because you're psyching yourself out and you're becoming a self-fulfilling self prophecy. In which case you're telling yourself, oh yeah, I'm, I'm not going to do this. And so you're not going to do it because you're not going to try. You don't feel like you'll be able to. Tell yourself that you can do something. Because, and, and this is a Will Smith quote, and I, actually, I, I absolutely love this quote. And it's, he who says he can and he who says he can't are both usually correct. You have to try. If you don't try, you'll never know. Things will never change. Or maybe they will, but they will out of luck. So, uh, back to the really earlier topic of um, depression isn't always easy to notice. Um, like with me. I, I mean, there were times that I hurt myself. I think I, I tried hurting myself on my hand mostly, but that, you know, I just didn't want it to be noticed. But it's not always noticeable, you know. A lot of people didn't notice that I was going through a rough time. Um, typically, if I ever ended up talking to someone about it, they're like, really? You always seem so happy. And, I mean, you know, it's not always that it's just going to be right out there for you to see. And, oh, that person's depressed. It's not like that. Um, you know, typically they try to keep a smile on their face because... In these days, society says that if you say you're sad out loud, you're just asking for attention. And that's not the case. Um, I want you guys to understand that you can reach out for help. And I just said that earlier, but I, I really want you guys to understand that you can reach out for help. There are people who will be willing and will be very happy to help you. And just know that you're not alone. Um... You know, one of the things with depression is that a lot of times people feel like they're alone and you know it's kind of weird because just like there's a different personality for everyone depression is different with everyone it uh, people react different with it and people treat it differently and you know we all deal with it separately I mean we have one word for it but it's it's so much more than one word you know it's kind of like love you have one word for love but there are so many different types of love within that that it's like a tree and it's the same with depression. I wish it wasn't. But it is. And it doesn't work the same for everyone. But... Something that does help. Um, if you look into someone's eyes. Now I don't mean like absolutely stare into their eyes deep within their souls. And I think this is something that I've said before. Because uh, I remember talking about it and I got really close to the camera or something. But, um... If you just talk to someone about it, you know, or look into their eyes, you know, reach out. You know, if you think someone's going through a rough time or if you think that something might be getting to someone, try and reach out. I mean, it's not going to hurt. The worst that happens is they might get a little miffed with you for, you know, you know, trying to talk about their business. But you never know who you might help. I mean, don't let the worry that you might be stepping in on someone's business stop you from helping someone. Because you could be saving a life. Now, one of the worst things with depression is, of course, suicide. And one of the hardest things with that is if you know someone in your life who is depressed and they are trying to commit suicide, there comes a point when you have to bring someone else into it. And they're going to be mad. Because, like I said, people don't always want to talk about it. And when it gets to the point where they want to commit suicide, they're not going to want to talk. They think that the talking is too late. But I want you guys to know that it's never too late.
to receive help. And while yes, you know, saying it like, oh, I'm going to a shrink sounds really bad, talking to a guidance counselor or a therapist is actually really helpful. I went to one a lot in my seventh grade year of school. I, uh, oh, <laughs> in seventh grade I went there almost every day. Um, because it helped. I mean, it really helped. I, I know it sounds stupid, you know, everyone thinks about going to psychiatrists as, oh yes, they're crazy, that's why they're going to a psychiatrist, but th that's not the case. You don't have to have deep-rooted problems to go to a psychiatrist. Sometimes it's just because it helps. Especially if you're in school. Oh my gosh, guidance counselors, hello. They're free. Get it while you can. Uh, I think one of the main problems with therapists is just that they're so friggin' expensive. But I mean, it's you don't always have to just go to a therapist. I mean, you could sit down with like a doctor in a hospital like your 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 physician your family doctor you can sit down with them and talk to them and say well this is kind of what I've been going through I don't necessarily have the money to pay for a, a therapist and I don't know what to do and they might try to help you but you have to reach out I know it's scary and I know that you just want people to see what's wrong you know you just want them to see it but it's not always that easy because like I said it's not always the same for everyone but I just I really really want to stress that you are not alone and that you have people who care about you you have people who want you to succeed and who want you to stay in their lives and you are worth every single part of your life. Remember that. You are amazing and you're unique. Don't let anyone take that away from you. Don't let anything take that away from you. Because you're strong, you can fight it. I've probably been rambling for a while now and I hope this wasn't too jumbled. My thoughts kind of jumble themselves. I think a lot faster than I talk. There is a fly, and it's getting near me, and I just, it's, okay, look, where did it go? All right, I'm gonna go before I get driven insane by this tiny little fly that's trying to attack me. Because, you know, it's just how it goes, I guess. But, um, if it was helpful at all, you know, just let me know. And, you know, if you need help, you can definitely use the comments below, or, you know, if you feel like you need advice, uh, definitely if you need advice, uh, just use my email. I won't always want to, I won't want to be like a 24-7 chat buddy just because that's not who I am, but definitely if you need advice, and, you know, even in the comments below, and if anyone bothers you in the comments below, like, if you think anyone's going to bother you, um, don't worry about that, because if I see anyone trying to step in and be rude, I will definitely take them off of there. ASAP because that's not okay and if you're one of the types of people who make fun of someone with depression or make you know someone with depression feel even worse you need to check yourself because that's that's not okay and I know that deep down you are a good person somewhere as well you may be going through your own problems but that doesn't mean you should take them out on someone else okay so don't worry about commenting on here about how sad you are, that's fine. And if anyone tries to step in, their comment will be removed. And I'll talk to them. I'm a mama bear, alright. Take care of my friends, alright. And yes, I consider you my friend. You're my friend. Even though I don't talk to you, if I don't know you in person, even if I don't talk to you much if I don't know you in person, I consider you a friend. So. I love you guys. I love you guys so, so much. Stay you. Believe in yourselves because you're awesome and you're amazing. Don't forget that. Don't forget to dance today. Thank you for watching and I will see you later.